What's up guys? I've been getting asked the same question over and over again and it's a very good question so let's talk about it. Alright, so the question is obviously you've seen the title, uh, how do I get sponsored? So how can you go out and get a sponsor and make sure that you bring value to the table? I'm speaking from my own opinions, I'm not speaking for any company, just what I think and uh, what I see that works and what I would look for if I was a uh, company looking for sponsor e or as person to drive for me so here we go all right so the first thing is events if uh, i'm looking for someone to drive for my company i want them to be out there in the rc community so are they going to events uh competing i'm probably i'm yeah it'd be great if they get first and second and stuff like that but i'm more willing or more interested in uh, what kind of presence are they setting while they're there uh, are they a positive influence on the rc community as well as the brand or are they out there cussing and throwing stuff and kicking their rig and uh, breaking stuff and putting down other people? Um, what kind of person are they? And that kind of rolls right into number two is being a real person. If someone approaches you and says, hey, you know, I really like your rig or whatever, are you going to talk to them or are you going to be like, yeah, cool, thanks, and push them away? Are you going to hand them the controller and say, here, you know, try it out? Or how are you going to interact with that person? Uh, that's going to be looked at big time by the companies that you're going to drive for. Number three, promoting the product. If someone's driving for me, I'm going to be watching and say, hey, okay, I know he's at this event this weekend. Let's see how he's repping. All right, so then I look at pictures on Facebook from the event and I see you. Okay, boom. He's wearing his shirt. Okay, yeah, he's wearing his shirt. He's a repping the brand, got the hat on or whatever. Uh, he's using the products that we gave him to be you know, a driver for, so cool, he's using those. Uh, how he places, yeah, that's cool, whatever. But, you know, and that and again, that's an interaction, but you have to be at the event, using the product, promoting their brand. If someone comes up and asks you about the product, uh, you need to be able to talk about it. All right, so number four, offer good value. What are you gonna bring to the table for the company that's giving you free or discounted parts? Um, in the end, they're wanting you to drive sales to them. So if they give you a free part and you're out there driving and you're saying, yeah, this thing's the greatest, it works really good, and you're willing to talk about it and people ask you about it and you just kind of sell it, you're kind of like a salesman as well as a representative, um, that's what they're looking for in the end. Yes, they want you to promote the hobby, like I said, but in the end, drive sales to them. That's why they give out the product is to increase their sales. Social media. Okay, so this is where you're going to catch heat or I'm going to catch heat, I guess. Social media presence is huge. If, you, if you're out there and you're on all these different platforms and um, you're putting the product out there, it just looks awesome. It's easy for you to let them know that you're doing it and it's easy for them to see that you're doing it. So say I'm testing a product for somebody, they're like, hey Scott, why don't you try this product out and see what you think. Uh, so I go out to the trails and I'm driving and I drive up on a little rock take a really cool picture and tag them in it and say, you know, like hashtag the company or, you know, at the company so I know it tags them so they see it. Say, hey, testing out so-and-so's product, doing awesome, best tire I ever used. Um, you guys got to try these, you know, and then you tag them in it and you put it on whatever, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, uh, YouTube, all this stuff, it's all just going back to the company. And the companies are like, oh yeah, look at that. We, we gave him, we gave away a set of tires that cost $40. And this dude's, put, we've just advertised across six platforms to over 10,000 people at least. So $40. And which you know that costs forty dollars, we're not paying four dollars to get it made. But you know what I'm saying. So say twenty dollars, twenty dollars that they just paid for advertisement to ten thousand people. That's pretty good, pretty good bargain. And not only they got that advertisement, they got you promoting it. So it's like me saying, hey, these tires are great. I'm using them and I love them. Someone that trusts my opinion on my Facebook, so hey, Scott likes them. You know, they might be pretty good. So they go out and try them. So it's all win-win for you and for the company. So always be thinking of the company. Are you representing the company? Uh, that's the big question. All right, so I think that's enough. That's five five things to think about. And just think about those before you approach a, com a company and say, you know, what am I gonna bring to the table? Say, hey, I would love to, you to give me free product. And then the company's gonna say, okay, cool. What are you gonna do for me? Uh, drive, use it? Okay, you gotta be ready. You know, say, well, when you give me this product, I'm gonna do, you're gonna get a YouTube video, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's gonna be on all those, I'll do a live, thing on snapchat blah 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 it's just you got to be prepared so this is what i'm going to do for you if you give me said product you got to be valuable 
So, all right, that's enough of rambling this time. If you got any questions, please comment below or check out the Facebook page, Ace of Axe RC, and you can post it up over there. But either way, if we don't see you on the track, we'll see you on the trail. Later.